I was following that bit, this, this girl about, I was about 16 or 17, I was just starting hunting. And I've got that used to following this last about. I was following her, very man, I rocked top step and she pushed me down on my ass. <laughs> well, we used to go in, in, the, in the swimsuits and go in the sea. One piece, black and navy blue. That's all the way them days. Not like the arts of the day. Two piece. And there's only a little board, like halfway down the bearing band. We were behind that, getting undressed. The horse, it got hitched up, set off, and with it pull, having to pull, the door flew open, all the clothes went on, took wet sand. Well, when we come to get dressed after, to go back, the landlady wouldn't let us in, because we'd only a towel around us. We'd only wet clothes there. So she better stand outside while she throws some water on her feet to get sand off her feet. I used to go swimming up Blackpool. Is it, is it still here? I wonder if they used to be swimming baths near the fairground. They used to have it for beauty competitions, I believe. Lean back and let the juice go into your skin. Keep rubbing it in till you've got all the juice after the cucumber. And all the juice has got in my head. My, my, fo my forehead, and all under my eyes, and, and, and I'd, I used three pieces every night. Yeah? Until it's dry, it's on the skin there. You may laugh at me, but it's, I'm not so bad on it. I've, I've got no wrinkles, have I? Eh? I look at these, I see these, these old women coming out there, and I say to me, You want some cucumber over your face, you do? And I'll kid them into doing it. I used to go dancing. I went dancing in the winter gardens every night. When I wasn't working, I was in the winter gardens dancing. Dancing was very popular with everybody. And of course, to dance in the ballroom. And let me see, who was the organist then? Uh, what was his name? Reginald Dixon. Oh, Reginald Dixon. <laughs> It was marvellous, it was packed, and of course there was an MC at each ballroom, which led, who led off the dancing. And they looked lovely because they were all doing the same thing and going the same way. They had to go round and round. There, there was no such thing as going across making a detour. You couldn't do that. The MC stopped you. You learn to be old time dancing. Not like the old dance today. That's not dancing today. When you show one and push one another. You learn to be graceful dancing. I think the tower ballroom was the best floor. But the, the palace came pretty close. Floor with a thousand springs it was, the palace. Well, the Shottish, Valita, Empress Tangles. Oh. All the old fashioned dancers have got to so many. Shotties, Chicago maids, all them sort of dancers. Well, not them sort of dancers today. They can't, they don't know what dancers is on the last driving generation. In fact, they couldn't do it. What was he doing? That sort of stuff. Oh, no, mostly you went with a girlfriend and found a boy while you were there, or they would come and ask you to dance, you see. Yes, of course. Then you'd leave them after the dance, or perhaps you'd stay all night with them, you see. And they may bring you home. I don't know, I never tried picking any up. I was never a, you know, never a forward, I was a very shy girl. And there used to be a gang of us old girls, we used to dance with one another, we never, we wouldn't split up and dance with a boy. And I only took them if they were recommended. And I had some fine, very good people. I had no drunkards, nobody that went wrong. I had a really good guest house. Our beds were only one and six a night. And there were no hot and cow water, they just a, a jug in a basin. I only had a toilet outside. No toilet upstairs. 
the, and they had to come through the room where we were sleeping to go to the toilet in the backyard if they wanted to go in the night, which was awkward. It wasn't easy. I liked people, but you could get some very awkward people. There's no, you can't satisfy people. What pleases one doesn't please another. I had one person walked out because we had fresh salmon for tea on Friday. Said, I don't like that kind of stuff. I like proper stuff, tint, scent salmon. I don't like that kind of thing. I used to get into trouble because the, the women used to like me cooking so much that they, they fell out with me. They were jealous and the men said, why don't you cook like this? And uh, it caused a bit of friction, you see, did that. But I carried on and that. I got a really good connection. The first time in my life I could put a bit of money in the bank. But when we went to Blackpool, you'd take a load of stuff with you, food, tin stuff, anything that would keep. You'd put it in your box. In fact, there were more food than what there were clothes in your boxes. You used to take all their own food. Because they were only better than attendants in them days. The landlady, if she were a good cook, you might get something proper enough for your breakfast. Otherwise, it would either be frizzled up or else it would be lukewarm. It just depends on your landlady whether you enjoyed your food or not. But you had to buy the food yourself and take it to her the night before what you were having the day after. Sometimes it was like a harvest festival. Some would bring cabbage, some bring cauliflower, some potatoes, some meat, and then you'd cook that for them. If you have about ten different families bringing meat in, and one is joint, one has a joint, and one has a piece of pork, and one has chops, and one has sausages. You get very confused. They, we used to have little metal discs that you put in the meat, the same room as the bedroom was. It was number 10 bedroom, it was number 10 went in the chops. At dinner time, for vegetables, you had uh, threepence for vegetables and sixpence for pudding. Don't forget cruets. And, uh, you have to and, pay and the cruets. That sixpence a week for cruet. I don't think I charged for the cruet. I didn't agree with that. Because everybody has to use salt and pepper and I never charged for a cruet. The, the, the landlady said, I'll talk for the cruet. <laughs> pepper and salt. <laughs> it must have been barber. There would be a small charge for the cruet then. Anything on the table. I wasn't one for charging for cruets and all that kind of thing like they used to, you know, sixpence for the cruet and so much for this and so much for that. Because they used the vinegar and the salt and the pepper and they had it to buy. That's why they charged sixpence for the cruets. <laughs> We used to have booths all along the back of the stalls and men outside saying, come and see the fattest lady in the world. And people used to go, when they paid tuppence to go in to see this fat lady. Fat lady and, and somebody somebody never had an outtake for so many days and, and all, so, all sorts of things like that. Uh, the giant, the longest giant, he was still in his coffin. And I shit the fat lady. Well, a, a duck with three, three faces and all that sort. I don't like that. The lady with, that had uh, grew a beard. I can remember that. I thought it was horrible. But there were, there were all, all, sorts, all kinds of freaks on the golden mile. <laughs> The illuminations were new. They were new to people. I'd never seen anything like in my life before. Moving objects on a on a big pulse of moving objects, all in all bound in electricity. It was wonderful. Autumn is here again, and with it comes the Blackpool illumination. They have become as famous as Hmm. There was something out of this world. They'd never seen it like you see in the atom. See, they see you going to into space. It was that, to us, it was anyway. For my mind, it was a wonderful thought. Oh, Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, My husband 
husband got a loudspeaker and put it in a baffle board and stuck it in the corner in the lounge. And then when they wanted to have the wireless on, they would come and say, can you switch on for me, please? And we used to entertain them at night because there weren't uh, entertainment like there is now. There wasn't a, one person switching on this channel and another person saying, I want that channel. I switched it on in my living room and they had what came on. Well, my daughter played the piano and I sang for them and if anybody could do a recitation or anything like that, we used to get up and do it. We used to entertain ourselves. We could all give a turn. I used to do, I used to do, by the way, I used to do monologue, Billy Bennett's monologues. The recitations I did. Christmas Day in the workhouse, up the road in the Mantelay and all that stuff. I did. I had a, I had a collapsible tall hat that folded. It's true. So I sold a piano and bought a, a settee instead.